Happy Saturday, everybody. It's me, Vicky. How are you guys? I hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend so far. Mine is going fabulous. So, I wanted to come on real quick and tell you guys, you see my title, I will not be sharing pics of my grandson. And the reason for that is because I spoke to my son yesterday. We had a long conversation regarding my grandbaby, my grandson, which I'm really excited about. Oh my God, he will be here in four months. So <laughs> Could you believe it? Anyway, my son feels that he does not want to, he does not want to share pics of his child. And I totally understand. I get it because you know it's your first one child and you do not want to exploit your kid. And there's so many things that's going on with the world and people still in pigs and a lot of craziness is going on. So I totally respect my son because I know if I had a newborn child, I would not want to exploit my child as well. And I respect that and I will not be sharing pics or making videos with my grandson until maybe he's of age or older. I don't know because right now we're just talking because uh, you know, it is what it is. My son is just nervous. He sees how the world is and I totally get it. And I'm like, I understand. So now this is the reason I, for those of you who are friends with me on Facebook, if you haven't noticed, I took down a lot of my pictures, my videos. The reason for that is I had a situation with an individual who did and said something that was so inappropriate. It was really bad. I really don't want to get into details about it because ooh, it's going to get me angry. This actually happened about a couple of months ago. I did not want to share it and I'm still not going to totally share exactly what it is that happened. But I am going to say this, that please be careful with who you let into your Facebook circle. So basically, I have about 200 and something amount of friends on my Facebook. I don't have a lot of people on there. and. Out of the whole 250 people I know, whether they be family members or their friends that I went to school with, uh, and everybody else is from YouTube. And y'all, and some of y'all have become some really good friends with, you know, friends, not, not real friends, but you know, YouTube friends. You know, this is different between friends that you grew up with that you know personally than friends from YouTube. YouTube friends are not the same as people that you know for real. It's just people that you meet that come on your videos and they decide to add you on Facebook. So there's a big difference. But I'm not saying that, it, that you can't become friends with those people. You know, it is possible to become best friends with these people. And, and I know a couple of people that are on my Facebook that I've known since I started YouTube my YouTube channel as a different name so to make a long story short I always felt that it was not a good idea to add a bunch of random people that you don't know but if you are making YouTube videos and you want followers you let people in it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman I let everybody in if I don't discriminate I don't care who you are black white purple green alien man woman tall short it doesn't matter to me because so what but as long as you're being respectful and you know that's good I mean, that's good enough for me but you come at me in a shady type of way and I will block you and I've blocked so many people and I don't care who you are you could be family members you could be somebody that I knew for years if I feel that you're being rude I feel a sense of jealousy hating any type of thing that's kind of like not right and I go with my gut with that I go ahead and block people and people have blocked me as well and I personally do not do not care because sometimes when people block you I'm happy when they do it because I don't like to make anybody feel no kind of way and I don't like blocking people, but sometimes people leave me no choice because some, some people that I have blocked recently, they didn't do anything to me. You don't have to really do anything to me. I just go through this blocking spree every now and then and I block people on my Facebook because I feel that they're, they're kind of shady. They feel some type of way. They kind of like, if I post something, they get, they feel upset about it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not feeling how this person is reacting towards my quotes or whatever it is that I'm posting. So I, definitely block these people and I, I'm, I block people randomly I, you don't know who which one I'm going to choose it's I just watch people I'm always watching and I could tell I get this vibe so to make a long story short the individual that I had a problem with I don't even know that good I don't know this person at all it's a random person who's a lot older put it this way it's an older man who's like 70 or 80 I don't know how old he is but he was pretty old and he's perverted and wanted me to do you, you know what it's a long story but a perverted old man and it's disgusting so 
he did and said something that was very inappropriate and it made me feel some type of way. So I definitely wanted to just, you know, I felt like, ugh, disgusted. So what I did was I started, I felt like I had to take my pictures down and I have to take pictures of my family members down because I feel like this person's gonna do things with the photos. Sorry guys, um, that's not kind of the sense that I get from this person, believe me, that's the kind of person that that person was, dangerous guy and threats and stuff that was being said, like a stalker type of thing. So anyway, I blocked the person and I get another person that comes in with no face. I believe that when I blocked that person, that person created another fake account just to come and see what that event. And I'm not doing that. So my new thing is now, because I'm not letting people in anymore. I think I'm done with Facebook, with letting random people in, especially the ones that do not have a face. Why are you coming without a face? Coming with cars or teddy bears or the, let me see who you are. And ghost face, I'm not going to add you. If you want me to add you, please have a face. And this way, I have to look through your pictures and see who you really are. Because if I'm sharing my, my pictures and I'm sharing things about my family, what can I see yours? What do you have to hide? that makes you, that you have to hide and you can't share anything. So those are sneaky people and they're scary to me and I should have known better. I let one of those type of people in and it was a big mistake, okay? So I've decided that from now on, when it comes to Facebook, Instagram, I don't have a problem with that yet. I haven't had any issues with Instagram. I have lots of stuff, a lot of pictures on Instagram. It's not a problem. If you want followers, you have to have, let people in. That's different. And I haven't had anything happen on Instagram. However, Facebook, I'm always having some type of issue when it comes to Facebook. I, it's always something. So I have decided that, that, that I do have a list, I mean, a long list of people who's waiting for me to add them. And I look through the list and I'm like, if I don't feel right about the person, I see no pictures and I see that you're friends with other people and you happen to be a male, I don't want to add you because I feel like, is that the person's boyfriend, husband? I don't want to add people. I've had issues with that as well. Like, I don't, because I want to give people the benefit of the doubt. And the majority of the time when you give people the benefit of the doubt, you come to find out these people are stalkers. They're obsessed with you. They're crazy. They're cursing you out. They're hating on you. They're jealous of you. There's a bunch of craziness. And I'm not saying that the people that, even the people that you know, you have to be careful with them because they too could be the same way. You know what I'm saying? So it's very risky when you put yourself out there on social media, especially Facebook, anywhere, and you have stalkers and people who's obsessed and people who won't leave you alone and stuff like that. So it's crazy. So that's why I decided that I took all my pictures down. For those of you who are friends with me, I took every, a lot of my stuff down. If you look throughout my Facebook, it's pretty much all I'm going to share mainly is quotes, things about celebrities and pictures of random people. I will not be sharing much about my family anymore on Facebook. But on Instagram, yes, I will. I will do it on Instagram. And I will not be letting people in just like that. I have to just be like really, you know, watch who I'm letting in because it's, it's, it could be Jake dangerous depending on YouTube, on YouTube, here on YouTube. I will keep all the videos are staying right there. Unless I feel some type of way, and I feel some type of threat, or I feel something, right? Then I will private the videos. That's what I will do. But as of right now, everything stays as is. As far as me adding more with my family and stuff, I have to think about that, okay? So that being said, guys, take care. Have a fabulous weekend. Everything is all good. There's no drama, no issue, but it's just about safety. It's about, you know, being smart. And don't, you know, that's all it's all about, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.